In this video, we'll be creating a nice responsive navbar design using HTML and CSS. So this is the design we'll be creating today. It just says navbar at the top and it has several buttons and it also scales with the screen size. So if we want to view it on mobile, we can view it on mobile. And if we want to view it at 4K, we can view it at 4K. So I'm going to go ahead and close out this window and start up our new design in a live server. And as we can see here, that now opens. So right now we have nothing on the page and and we're going to start by creating the nav bar, just like the container. So on the right here, I have the code I'm going to be following. And then on the left, I have the code I'm going to be editing. So the first thing we need to create is a div. And this is just going to hold everything for our nav bar. I'm just going to call it navigation bar, like that. You can just type in period and it will automatically create a div with the class. The next thing we need to do is create the navigation elements. This will essentially parent everything in our nav bar so that includes like the logo and then all the buttons so you can simply type in dot and then just call it like navigation element and then press enter and then that will create a div and then the next thing we're going to create is the icon this could be an image it could be a text it could be pretty much anything you want to i'm just going to give it just some text so you can just type in h1 and then i'm just going to give it the title of nav bar like that and then I'm just going to give this a class of navigation header like that. And then that pretty much creates like the basic foundation. So we can see here it says nav bar at the top. So I'm going to go back into Visual Studio Code. And then the next thing we need to create is the navigation buttons. So create a new divider and just call it navigation and just call it something like navigation buttons like that press enter and then open it up so the next thing we need to do is actually create the buttons so i'm just going to be using anchor tags for this you could use buttons or pretty much anything you want to so i'm just going to type in a and then give it a period and then type in navigation link like that and then i can just give this a uh an html with just something like home save that we can go back into opera here and then we can see it says home in the nav bar and all that so you can create as many of these things as you want to i'm just going to copy and paste it over here from the side so let me just do that real quickly okay so if we go back into opera we can see that we have all this now now the next thing we're going to be doing is the css so the first thing we need to do is remove the margin and padding on everything. So just use the everything selector. If you want to learn more, just check out my uh, web development for beginners part two CSS video. And then we can just type in margin. And then we can just type in zero and then padding is just set to zero like that. And also let's just give it a font family of just like Arial. This will just make it look a little bit prettier. So instead of being Times New Roman, it's now Arial. So the next thing we need to do is set the width and height on our body in HTML. So just type in body and then HTML, open, close, curly brackets, and give it a width of 100%, a height of 100%, a margin of zero, and a padding of zero. Save it. Pretty dear will automatically auto format for, for us. And we can see here, that everything looks normal. Now, I have encountered this weird issue before where like the body doesn't want to scale with like the screen size. It says it's scaling with the screen size, but in reality it's not. To fix that, we can just do position fixed like that. The next thing we need to work on is the navigation bar. So just type in dot navigation bar, open, close, curly brackets. And then we can just give this a width of 100% as well. A background color of this hex code over here. I got this color from Flat UI Colors. So you can go check out Flat UI Colors. I'll link it in the description if I don't forget. And then I can just go back into here and I can see that the background color is now that color I set. And I'm also just going to give it a height of 6M. Like that, go back into Opera, and we can see that it now has this huge height. The next thing we need to style is the navigation elements. So just type in navigation elements, 
we can close curly braces and then we can just type in width 100% as well this makes it the full width of the container which is this navigation bar and then we also do a display flex this will ensure that the design is responsive and then the next thing we need to do is align the items and here we can just align it to center you can align it to whatever you want to it doesn't really matter and then we can just do justify content to center and we can give it a height of 100 percent we can go back into opera and we can see that everything is now indeed centered now there is a little bit overlap for this but we'll fix that later so the next thing we need to fix is the navigation link so i can just have a navigation link i can close curly braces now this is a lot of stuff here it's just saying some margins and some colors so i'm just going to copy and paste some of this so essentially what this is doing is setting the margin of the left side to three viewport widths so this is essentially just three percent of the width of the viewport and then doing the same thing for the right side and then setting the color of the link itself and as we can see here it creates this effect here so the next thing we need to do is remove text decoration on this so you can just type in text decoration set to none high is a hundred percent this ensures that's the full size of the container here and then we can also do a display flex. This will just help us out later. So we can just do display flex, justify content, and then do center, and then align items center. And then we can also do font size and just set it to two viewport widths. And then we can just say min width is equal to zero, like that. So go back into here, we can see that that is now huge. And I believe it's because I did something, but we should be able to get to that later. So the next thing we're going to style is the navigation link hover. So just do navigation link and then just say hover like that. And then I'm just going to set the background color to a black color that's half transparent. And then we can go back into here and we can see that the background color is now that color. Next thing we're going to style is the navigation header. So just type in navigation header like that. And then we'll, we'll assign it the same color that we did our navigation links. So I'm just going to copy and paste that from there. We do flex one like that. Font size can just be like four VW like that. And then we can do text line center save go back into opera we can see that everything is now really huge but we'll get to that when we install our navigation buttons so in the navigation buttons we want to set to display flex we do a flex of one we do a width of a hundred percent a height of a hundred percent and a flex direction of row so we can go back into opera and we can see everything is now nice and laid out and we can also scale our page and we can see that everything scales properly now there is a little bit of like edging around this i have no idea how to fix that but that is something you can fix on your own time but as we can see here everything scales pretty decently and we can still hover over everything and click everything and it still works. So time for the explanation. You can go ahead and click off the video. But if you're clicking off, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. It always helps out the channel and helps get content like this recommended to others and you. Time for the explanation of what we just did. Okay, so when we're defining our navigation bar, we're using just a div there is such thing as a nav element i prefer not to use it but essentially we're just creating a container for everything in our navigation bar and then inside that we're creating navigation elements and that holds our header that says nav bar and it also holds our navigation buttons which is a container that holds 
five buttons and each of these buttons is an anchor tag so we can have it linked to somewhere else and we can just have like five buttons you can have as many as you want to since we're using flexbox now in the style link we're setting the margin to zero for every element so essentially the space around every element is getting set to zero and then the padding which is essentially the area between the content and the container is getting set to zero and then we're just defining a font for every text on our page and then we're selecting the body in the html and essentially what we're doing is setting the width to a hundred percent this ensures that it takes up the full size of the viewport and then we're also setting the height to 100% so it's taking up the full height of the viewport. We're setting margin to 0 and padding to 0. You don't have to do this if you've done it up here but it just prefers to, it just makes it look better. And we're also doing a position of fixed so it always stays at the same spot. And then in our navigation bar which is the container that we defined we're setting the width to 100 so it takes up the full width of the html and then we're setting the display to flex flexbox is a really powerful way of laying out elements in css we're aligning the items to center so instead of having them on the left side we're just centering them in the in the nav bar and then in Justify Content Center, we're centering them vertically instead of horizontally. And then we're just saying the height to 100% so it takes up the, pre the full height of the navigation bar. And then in our navigation link, we're just setting some margins so pretty much the area between left and right of it to just three viewport widths. So essentially just 3% of the viewport we're assigning a color i got this color from flat ui colors it's just a really nice website to get some palettes i'm removing the underline by saying text decoration to none and i'm also giving it a height of 100 so when we hover over it it takes up the full height of the nav bar i'm also saying it to display flex just so we can align the content to center and center it vertically and then I'm saying the font size to 2% of the viewport width. Just This just pretty much makes it just scale with the viewport. So previously, if you were just assigning it a hard-coded font size, it would, like, the elements would, like, squish together and, like, overlap each other, and that is not professional looking. So that is why we're using 2% of the viewport width. And then we're just setting them in width to zero so it can scale up and down as, lo as large as it needs to. And then in our navigation link hover, we're just giving it a black background with 0.5 transparency. So it just creates like this hover effect. And then in our navigation header, which is this bad boy right here, it's just a... It just shows this. This could be an image or whatever you want to. It doesn't really matter. We can just get, assign it a color, which is the same color we did on our link. We set it to flex one so it scales with the rest of the page. We do font size of 4% of the viewport width. So that just makes it look bigger than the rest of the text there. And then we're doing a text line of center, which just centers it instead of saying saying it to the left side and then in our navigation buttons which is pretty much the container for all the links and stuff we're setting it to display flex so we can align the items we're setting it to flex one so both the navigation header and navigation buttons scale the same way we're setting the width to a hundred percent and the height to a hundred percent so it's taking up as much space as it can and then we're setting the flex direction to row so it aligns it out horizontally instead of vertically. So if you found this video informative, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. It always helps out the channel and helps get content like this recommended to others. In the next video, I believe we're going to be converting this into an HTML element so we can easily reuse it across different pages on our website. So be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to, not, to never miss another upload and just to help out the channel it helps content like this get recommended to others and in the description below i'll also provide a few links to some of the tools i used in this video 
But this is all from me for now. Funnyber out.